Hello everyone, it's Victoria James and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscriber button and join the JBay fam. We chit chat and all that about luxury beauty every time I upload on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, I would love to have you as part of the JBay fam. Today I'm trying new makeup. This is new to me. I do understand that we've got, you know, I've got a new new that I need to do do, <laughs> which is my uh, new makeup series where I talk about what's upcoming or what's newly released. But these items I picked up at my last uh, beauty haul and I'm going to be trying them out for you today. So we have the Gucci concealer. We'll talk about this in a second. But we have the Gucci concealer, the Tower 28 concealer, the Fenty Ease Drop Stick, the Merit Solo Shadow, Dior Rosy Glow, and the new Benefit Mascara. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to be doing some mini reviews here and showing you demos of each product. This beautiful, you know, kind of really fresh makeup look was done with all of these things. And there is no powder on my face, friends. I'm living. I am living. I feel quite, quite youthful as I head into 39 in two months. <laughs> um, yes, so uh, first thing I put on my face uh, is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. Now, that is not a new product. That is a, that is a classic, if you will. <laughs> but that is the first thing I put on my face. Shout out to Giorgio Armani for sending over some goodies. I have something in the works. We'll talk about that later. But this Armani Primer, <laughs> girl what is happening so <laughs> I put this on my face and I thought to myself it was gonna feel like a moisturizer I just just knew it was gonna feel like a moisturizer but it has smoothing properties too and I was like "Ooh, that's real nice that's real nice going on my face okay I'm gonna just massage for no reason because it just felt so good and my skin was hydrated but it was also prepped and primed like it actually smooths your skin a little bit and prepares it for receiving the foundation and um today's foundation was the ease drop stick which has a little bit more of a matte finish than the ease drop uh skin tint and so i think that having that hydrating primer really came in handy for giving me that like fresh natural look to the finish of my skin now the shade that i chose in the ease drop complexion stick is number 21. i chose shade 20 in the ease drop skin tint because that was the shade that they sort of corresponded to 420 which was my shade um i think i probably would have went up to a 21 if i were to repurchase ease drop um skin tint but love absolutely love this shade in the stick man listen what the hell y'all doing over there fenty like <laughs> rihanna this is so good like what the heck you know what it kind of reminds me of is the uh, tom ford face trace stick except that has way more coverage than this but it's <laughs> way more coverage and a little more of a uh, different finish like a natural finish versus like a soft matte but anyway um it reminds me of that in that it just blends out like nobody's business melds into the skin and gives you a very even canvas to work with so if i wanted to i could have gone in with a little color corrector boo, boo, boo. but it, you know i'm going for something that's kind of no makeup makeup you know um and i think that if you're grabbing something that is considered like light coverage like i would say light medium on this um then you're not expecting to cover up every flaw i mean you shouldn't expect to cover up every flaw and i think that blurring the skin as it does evening the skin as it does it just looks it just looks phenomenal we all know i have hyperpigmentation you can see it through there but it is so diminished with this product it is so well diminished that i didn't even feel like putting on um color corrector i could have but i didn't want to and um i don't know i can't really speak to how long it lasts i have worn it one other time but um you know it, it seemed like it lasted fine but i really want to like pay attention to it and then report back to you guys on the actual longevity um, of this product now I don't have powder on like I said already you guys so um, whether or not this is going to like transfer and stuff like that I'm I'm going to say yes <laughs> you know what I mean like yeah of course it's gonna transfer girl you ain't putting nothing on to keep it from transferring um, so and they don't they don't say that it does you know they don't say that it's transfer proof transfer resistant or anything like that so I'm not going to expect something out of this that it isn't giving I think that it looks really good 
I mean, what y'all think? Because I think that looks good. All right. <laughs> and um, I'm really excited about it. I just feel like this is such an easy product. Um, swiped it on like I would any other complexion stick and it just blends out so well. The brush that I used was not a very stiff brush, but it is a dense brush and it's meant to, you know, it's a foundation brush. And I think that it did a really great job of just kind of blending this into my skin. And the color choice was spot on. I, I, that's my perfect shade, 21. If you're my shade 10, 21, friends. So next are the concealers, okay? So I went in primarily with the Tower 28 concealer and the full name, I know it's something about hydrating. I know this concealer is let me just put it on the screen because I can't read. Oh gosh, um, it is happening, okay? <laughs> this aging thing is happening because I used to be able to read this stuff. But the shade I have is 15, which is um, Samo or Samo. And that's my shade here. And I think it is a fabulous shade. I could totally wear it on its own, but I wanted to brighten my inner corners just a touch. So I went in with the Gucci concealer. And both of these concealers are kind of serum-like. Um, and they give great, uh, to me, they give really nice natural looking coverage, um, especially if you have dark circles. I have seen my dear friend Jacqueline of Hey It's Jacqueline um, wear this on her dark circles. You do want to get a shade that is, you know, more in line with your skin tone. I made a mistake. I, I got something that was too light, but it is the proper undertone. So it still worked out. I just used it very, very sparingly. Uh, I'm not going to return it because I used my Nordstrom note. <laughs> okay and so I'm not gonna return it but I am gonna buy another shade you guys so we are gonna revisit testing out this concealer but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like you know in terms of the application it did brighten me up a little bit it blended right into this tower 28 concealer as well and I think it looks really fabulous it's very flexible I did not set my under eyes so I will say to both of these that if you use them you know, sparingly, if you just use enough to get the desired effect and don't slather it on, you're not going to get any creasing. I don't have any creasing and I have fine lines, friends. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing pulling in there. All right. So just use a little bit of product. Get the effect that you're looking for without going overboard. And you won't have to deal with creasing. At least not with these. These are very flexible. They move with the skin. So I think that they look really amazing. This shade is 38, 38N, and I do believe I'm like 44N or something like that. I think that's a better shade for me. But um, yeah, it's a neutral undertone. So I feel like even though it is light, it doesn't look off. And it blends in really, really well. And I just use literally like a couple of dots and brightening in a natural way, blending right in. And I'm totally here for it. Next, I went in with the Rosy Glow from Dior. This is the shade Mahogany. And initially, I said, oh, I'm going to totally use this as a blush. But then I decided not to. I decided to actually use this as a bronzer, uh, like a bronzer blush kind of situation. I really love the tone of this. I love the tone of this. I used it all over my face in the usual areas that I would sculpt. And I realized this is not giving me any sort of contour. It is a bronzing tone on me. Uh, and it has just enough rosiness for me to go very lightly over my the apples of my cheeks when I finish everywhere else you know for whatever's left on it I wouldn't go overboard with this shade as a blush on me like an actual blush because I feel like it looks a bit bruisey if you do that um I have the um hyperpigmentation and I feel like it sort of brings it back <laughs> in a weird way if I use it that way so when I use it as a bronzer I feel like it does a really great job you can see it all over there it does a really good job of just kind of naturally bringing forth dimension to my face I do want to try the coral shade in this one too I really like this formula I feel like it's just you know it builds nicely it doesn't start off very pigmented like super pigmented so you're able to really control the amount of blush that's going on your cheek I think that's fantastic so I really like this formula I am going to try another shade for the actual apples of my cheeks but I really like this uh, mahogany shade it's giving it's doing what it needs to do next I went in with the solo shadow from Merit so they you know one and done is kind of like my jam and it has been my jam for a really long time just because you know I like to get out the door really quick. When I'm doing makeup like 
on a regular day like today for example I'm going grocery shopping <laughs> so when I'm in that sort of situation I don't I don't need a full beat I don't need a a one two three eye look you know what I mean I just want to put a little wash of color on my eyes I just want to look like you know something's happening up there <laughs> and so this brun shade is really great for that now let me tell y'all um yesterday when I put my makeup on I actually only used it as a crease shade so my concealer shade that I had on ended up being my actual like lid shade. So that's how you can also kind of like, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's how you can kind of like use it in a couple of different ways. So I, today I did a wash of color, just boom, 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 boom with the actual brush that came out with it right here. Um, used this to go all over the lid, boom, blend it into the crease, etc. Then flipped it over and just put a little bit like halfway under my lower lash line. Done done y'all <laughs> this formula is really good it's creamy initially but it's still quite stiff in the sense that um you're not going to grab too much you're not going to grab too much of the product and then you put it on and the way it blends out it blends out so that you can actually still create dimension with this product so it diffuses and it blends out you know gives you that nice soft effect and then you can go back in layer again in the sp spots where you want it to be a little bit deeper so this shadow even though it's a one and done is still you know something you can wear multiple ways so I feel like this is a really great formula the colors that they selected are also really great you've got two browns you've got the brun that I chose which is the darker brown and then you have starts with an s I'll put it on the screen you guys like I'm <laughs> but um the, that shade I also want because I just think it's pretty and then um, they have Viper which is a really pretty green they have a really nice blue they have a purple that's really soft like lavenderish I just I really like the color selection I was tempted y'all to get several but I said listen Victoria James you haven't you just did a declutter girl <laughs> you have an abundance of single shadows or like trios or duos or whatever so it's not like you need all these colors i i do want that purple <laughs> i do want that purple and that green y'all i ain't even gonna front with y'all probably get them too at the vib savings event but like this brun this shade is the perfect one and done shade for me last but not least my friends for the new products is the new fan fest volumizing mascara from benefit this mascara has been the mascara i've been going to for the past like three weeks <laughs> you guys like i love this mascara so hard and i'm going to show y'all in a demo exactly why i have been able to wear just my lashes majority of the time and it works for the uppers and lowers on me which is something that isn't always the case with a mascara so also layerable okay two coats on the top one on the bottom i'm living i'm living for this you guys have to try this one out it looks so good it looks amazing and it it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge and i'll be sweating under my eyes honey and this does not smudge <laughs> it's so good and it's not waterproof but it stays put so I mean these things are doing it I use some other products today um just a couple just a couple but I will be listing everything that I'm wearing on my face in the description box with an affiliate link so if you'd like to support the channel it's free for you there's a little kickback to me and I invest it back in the channel and that is it for today's uh trying on new makeup video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know what to do y'all go ahead and give me a thumbs up Move me up in the algorithm. Let them know that you're here for what I'm doing so that they can see me, okay? Share the video if you have people who are interested in it or if you just want your girl to grow. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. If you made it to the end of the video, I feel like you're feeling me. I'm feeling you too. Go ahead and join the J-Bay fam and let's make it happen, Captain. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Bye!